so while we have a, a short cigar tonight, and um, it's going to be a shorter episode, we're just rambling a bit about random thoughts about cigars and stuff like that. It's too bad I can't have people call in. You know, that would be kind of cool too. I, I like to make this thing almost like a talk radio show, but with a video behind it, you know. Um, but I think that's like the overall idea so far. I'm sure it can develop. The more viewers, subscribers I get, and the more people give me ideas and stuff. Comment, comment, you know, give me comments. And uh, we can we can make things as entertaining as possible. I, I think it's nice to have something where you get an episode at least every day or every two days that you can look forward to watching. Mm. Let that sit. Try to let it sit as long as possible. It's got a little bit of a... about an sixth of the wrapper is just not coming down, kind of carbonizing there, and I'm going to burn that off any minute now, but see what it does. Sometimes it just sparks up and goes. Read a very interesting thing that brings me to something very interesting thing online today, and um, I think in editing I'll post the uh, link here. But man, it had to do with the whole science behind, and even that, it was pretty short. I'm sure they could get into even more depth, but it's really detailed. The whole science behind how a cigar burns, and how and why it, it creates the aromas and flavors it does. Uh, and, and why the changes occur uh, when burning. When they roll a cigar, you know, they use a leaf for the wrapper, then they use a certain leaf for the binder, and then you have the filler, which is long and, go, and, go, and runs the entire length of the cigar. And as far as I know, they don't really, you know, when you, when you taste a change, it's not because they don't pack a bunch of a certain type of filler in the front and then change it and put a bunch of different type of filler in the middle and then the same thing in the back. That's not how they do it. You know, it's a leaf around a binder and around a blend of, of filler which is the same all the way throughout. So you wonder, well, how then does the flavor and aroma change? And I'm going to explain it very basically. The article goes into way more science behind it, which I think is really cool. Uh, but when, first of all, one, they talk mostly about burning. I'll just mention that it, a lot of it depends on when you're smoking entire leaf. The longer the cigar, the more complex, the more changes you can have. And again, there's two reasons. But you get more out of the fact that you're smoking a certain section of the leaf throughout. You know, you get to the front or back or whatever, and the front of the leaf, and then the middle of the leaf, and then the back of the leaf. And, you know, the, the amounts of components in each section of that leaf are going to change. So the longer, the more. Again, the longer, the more, because as you're smoking, there's a, a bunch of different increases and decreases as far as temperature goes. You have, you have temperature, uh, which, you know, gets up to 800 degrees or something. And they were like a, a ridiculous, very, very, very high temperatures. Um, gets up to very high temperatures. Uh, that's why, I read this article, and, and trust me, it's very, very interesting. But, um... They say basically, you know, what happens in the beginning, the cigar is much cooler. It, very basically, the cigar is much cooler in the beginning, and so when carbonization starts and the fire, you know, hits the leaves and you're smoking and you're bringing in oxygen, which causes the thing to combust, and smoke comes through the cigar cooling rapidly, you're getting the coolest smoke, and, and also it, it, it burnt by the coolest means, uh, because it, it burns hotter and hotter the further down the cigar goes. and therefore you get a totally different flavor than you would in the middle of the cigar where the cigar starts burning at a more moderate temperature and then the end of the cigar where it's burning its hottest and basically they talk about the different sections of aromas where you have your you know you have your I forget how they worded them but let's say like more rare aromas like your your notes of this and that and then in the middle it becomes more of a, a steady and then at the end it becomes you know it, just read the article, it's really, really fascinating. 
really fascinating. And they also mention a thing about, yeah, let's let's get this thing off of there a little bit. They also mention a thing that, I'm going to ash it right now, but they also mention that the ash, the ash itself, acts as a buffer to um, oxygen. So that when you're smoking and you have, you know, and they say it lowers, what did they say? A certain amount of ash, and it's a small amount, like say a millimeter or a cent, or like one centimeter, I think they said, of ash, can lower the temperature of the smoke by 50 degrees, by at least 50 degrees. That's a lot. So when, and, and what's happening is you're buffering the oxygen, you're stopping a certain amount of oxygen from hitting the head of the cigar. When oxygen hits that lit part, ignition, it, it lights up, it brightens, it gets hotter and hotter because that's what it needs to burn is oxygen. So when you buffer that with the ash, you're keeping the cigar smoke cooler. So a little hint to those uh, aficionados out there or, or, you know, aficionados in learning. And, uh, you know, keep a little bit of ash on the head of your cigar. You know, don't constantly knock it off all the time. Uh, it'll, it'll help keep the smoke. I'm not saying, you know, don't grow a castle. But uh, it'll help keep the smoke cooler, and you'll it li likewise will probably get a, more, a little more flavor. Interesting stuff. Always learning something new as a cigar smoker. I've heard that somewhere before, and uh, I always do tend to leave, uh, let it ash until it gets to about you know a little under an inch, and then and then knock it off. Um, but I didn't realize the science behind it. And it makes perfect sense now. You're buffering out the oxygen, and it's stopping the ignition from getting to a point where it's really, really hot. So that's a really cool concept right there. Uh, and being that we're talking about that, the cigar smoke on this thing is exceptionally cool right now. A little bit of a tight draw, but not so bad that I'm going to screw with it, you know? We're getting into our uh, second third, just coming into our second third, and the flavor right now is pretty much the same. It's a small cigar. Um, I'm not noticing any big temperature difference yet. And we're sticking with uh, a, a, a nice level of spiciness, uh, a medium spiciness that's constant right now, uh, with um, really nice notes of dried fruit and graham. Uh, and the coffee isn't there so much anymore. I'm getting more, more of a, a sweet profile. Uh, over a, a woody type base, uh, which is very, very nice. Very nice. Mm. Now, more more floral type stuff going on right now. Definitely. Even in, in the flavor. Partagas is known for its, um, its floral notes, to have a lot of floral notes. Mm. Okay, definitely getting more salt more floral notes right away starting to notice more wow that that was an interesting you ever pick up your cigar and take a hit and then put it down and then a few minutes up pick it up and you're like whoa is that the same cigar like there was such a big change up it kind of really took you by surprise that happens to me especially with cuban cigars one minute you saw me one minute i was saying i was pretty much the same no big change up yet then i took a pull i'm like wow big blast of saltiness and a whole bunch of floral notes that are de it's definitely overriding the sweet notes that were happening in the beginning. Cigar has something going on that reminds me of a honey-esque, uh, a honey-esque type profile, like a, almost like it's been honeyed. You know, no, no sugar per se, but the smell and the um, flavor. Yeah, we have a little bit of an issue here. Once again, that side's burning, that side is, is not again. Let me just give it a give it a bit of a I'm not gonna try to just It's a bulky. Wrapper is a little bulky on that side, causing it to burn slower. Floral, peppery. Now more coffee coming in. And again, maybe because I just added a bunch of heat on that hit. You see? This is some interesting stuff to realize that a lot of, according to this article, a lot of how your cigar tastes has to do with how much heat is coming through.
so our second third um, really took a uh, took a turn, a real big change, and uh, went from an overall sweet graham crackery type profile with uh, some uh, mostly woody undertones to cigar now that's giving me much heavier spice than before and a lot of coffee notes uh, coming in, into the end of the second third and into the beginning of the last third. Spice is definitely building up. Coffee notes in the back of the palate are really starting to uh, make themselves prominent and um, the sweeter notes are still there. The, the It still has this graham crackery type of profile to it, uh, but there's a lot more floral notes uh, going on along with the coffee and the um, spice. So this is a uh, fairly complex cigar for such a small cigar. Absolutely. Absolutely. I would say this is a cigar that is easy to take anywhere, great for, you know, anytime smoke, you need a five, ten minute smoke break, whatever, um, knock around cigar, but it's also a cigar that can be sit down and enjoyed thoroughly over time, you know, very, very nice. And if I wasn't so pressed for time tonight, I would probably smoke this a little more slowly than I am, uh, but it's, it's very nice, very nice. The burn fixed itself up after I had to just hit the wrapper a couple of times where it, it was it was bulky. The wrapper was a little thick in, in certain areas and uh, was carbonizing much more slowly uh, than in the other areas, so we had a little bit of that function, a little problem. This is a, a fairly resistant draw. Uh, I would like it to be a little looser, uh, you know, give me a little more pull, but sometimes that's a good thing on a, such a short cigar so it doesn't burn too fast, so you don't cause it to burn too fast. A lot of floral uh, notes in the bouquet right now coming out of the aroma. You know, overall construction is very good and the appearance is very nice. Um, you know, I'm pretty much uh, starting to rate this cigar and it's pretty much getting straight 0.75s uh, in, in almost every area. Uh, but right now, you know, um, for such a small cigar to get a, a good score on complexity is like, you know, mostly s tiny cigars don't really have much complexity. It'd be like, you know, very good, very good. You know, that's about it. We're just nubbing the very end of the cigar here. And I'll tell you, whew, during this last third, during this last third, Packs quite a punch, man. Holy shit. Wow. I mean, I smoke a lot, and I'm not used to getting any kind of like, but I'm actually a little. This cigar packs a wallop at the end, I'll tell you that much. Um, at the beginning to the middle of the last third, flavors really pick up. You know, just a lot of a lot of strong coffee notes, a lot of spice, um, and a lot of a lot of floral type notes. Um, perfumey almost, uh, and the sweetness starts to really go away, and then it completely pretty much dissipates. At this point in the cigar, uh, it's getting very hot, and there's not a hell of a lot of flavor at the end here. It's just very, very, very strong, uh, nicotine-wise. Um, pretty much... Really not too much flavor. It's very woody again. A little, little salty, and very perfumey, very floral, very perfumey, and just very strong. So the flavor of the cigar really, at the very end anyway, it's not even about the flavor anymore. For this cigar, it's about that's where your, that's where your kick is um, for the short little, the short little guy. Whoop! <laughs> good cigar, good cigar. Uh, one of my favorite little, little short, short stories. I was going to call it Schmidt, but that's the name of the cigar. So. Um, so that's about it. I'm going to wrap it up. We're just going to take a look at the overall rating and uh, say goodnight till tomorrow. And that's it for our Partagas Short. Excellent, excellent little smoke. Very, very nice. Burned well. Great flavors and very strong at the end. Our final numbers. Oops, I didn't put our... 
final rating, 7.5. And considering, you know, everything else, that's a great score for this little cigar. As far as small cigars go, um, great. I even wrote, great. I'm keeping all these little things with the band for a later review. Uh, and that's that. So come back to us tomorrow for our non-Cuban cigar day. And we'll be smoking, um, not really quite sure yet. I really have to start lining these up so you know what's going to happen. But uh, maybe a Fuente. We will be doing um, a new Fuente cigar I picked, fairly new anyway. A uh, new special release by Fuente that I picked up. Till then, keep on smoking. <laughs>